Hey, welcome back to the channel. I am really glad you're here because today I'm going to share a solution to a problem that I've had for quite some time and I'm really excited about it. And that is, I just want to connect a garden hose to my IBC tote valve. Seems like it should be simple, but it has not been. I found two solutions on YouTube. One of them would not work. The other one worked, but it's a bit pricey. Then I came up with a solution on my own that I'm pretty proud of and it's also quite cost effective. So let's go through these three solutions and hopefully one of these will work for you. So the first one is a solution that requires three components and that is a two inch threaded, female threaded connector with a two inch slip on glue on connector on one side. And then you need a two inch glue on slip connector for the other side that will be glued into there and on this side it's got a three-quarter inch pipe thread then you need this third component which is a brass uh, coupler it's got three-quarter inch pipe thread on one side and three-quarter inch hose thread on the other side and that screws in to the end here now of course you'll want to use Teflon tape when you screw that one in use uh, PVC glue when you glue this one in and then according to what I saw on the internet this two inch thread should thread directly onto your IBC tote valve. But that did not work for me. I've got six of these IBC totes. Wouldn't work on any of them. So solution number one did not work for me. Solution number two is gonna use all three of these same components plus one more and that is this two inch irrigation coupler i got this at tractor supply uh it's a bit pricey i think this was close to 25 dollars so again a bit pricey but all of my ibc totes have this irrigation type coupler on them so that worked it's got two inch thread so i can thread this directly on again wrap that with teflon tape and now you've got this component and this for me locked on to all of my IBC totes. Let me show you how this works. So this just slides on. You release these two clips and then this slides on and then the two clips you pull forward together and they lock in place. So that is really a nice connection. And then if you have more totes you can Push the buttons in, pull these out, remove this and put it on your next tote. And now solution number three uses two of these three components plus another one. So you wanna keep the brass connector with the three quarter inch pipe thread and three quarter inch hose thread. Also the two inch slip on connector glue type. You'll want that. You don't need the threaded part. So. Obviously, if I had glued this together, I wouldn't be able to take that apart. So these are the two components you need. The third one is what a lot of people know as a Fernco connector. It's a two inch flexible connector. This two inch end will slide directly in to that connector, nice and snug. You can tighten it up. The other end slips over my valve. And you can tighten that up, but it's a little tight with a screwdriver so it's best to use a, a small socket and a ratchet. So we'll put this on and then we'll test it out and see. The other ones, they work too, but this one, again, is the most cost effective. So let's put this on and try it out. So I'm just going to slip this into the flexible connector. I'm using a 5 16 
socket and then the other end is going to slide over just like that nice and snug and I'll just put the ring in place there again using the 5 16 socket There it is. Let's fill it up and try it out. Well, I put about 100 gallons of water in this tank. Let's check it out. Pretty nice. Now, you're not gonna get the pressure you need to run a sprinkler or anything, but if you have a short hose and you need to fill up a bucket, or maybe if you get enough height, maybe you're up on a hill, you might be able to run a hose with a bit of a sprinkler or water your plants that way, but overall, I'm pretty impressed. Well, I hope you found today's video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, I invite you to join us. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time.